Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stink Gamers, and welcome. So today, I want to show you around our little container yard. Me and Tazu have been working on this new container yard area, and the basics of it are focused around a number of container-based ships that we're trying to construct. So first of all, I built myself a small little container like this, based off one of the shipping containers that you'd see on a ship today. And then I thought, what would happen if we built some sort a ship to haul them thinking that they're quite a standardized format it would be quite efficient to have these or ship these around to different sorts of planets different sorts of countries so let's actually have a look at the ship itself the plan for the container yard is we're going to extend it much further out add a perimeter fence and then start tarmacking the inner areas with roads connectors and build some gantry cranes so we can actually connect up and install these cargo containers well that should be shown in sort of a later video for the moment we've got these small stack of trucks that have been taken from the workshop i'll try to provide you with a link for them below if i can still find it quite an old little model but it works quite nicely not that a function for this particular ship though because the containers are loaded sideways so going around the ship itself we have the four container pod on this side we have another four container pod and then we have another singular container pod at the end there each one of these containers at the current moment in time doesn't open but it's just there to replicate what the final shape will actually be like and Tazu here painstakingly started developing the front of this thruster area the thruster housing you can see we've got them sage thrusters that have been tucked in there tucked away some of the areas need a little bit of work you can see there's a little bit of a gap there in the center and we also need to work on a proper way of the landing gears and towards the front, we've got this little doorway here. Now, me and Tazu were debating. You'll have to tell us in the comments below what you think about this. Is having a ramp that folds down here at the front instead of actually just having a doorway so the players can actually hop inside. And you can see since this is a small ship, we've got a lot of interior. I'll just go in the interior. It's quite bland for the moment. It's just pillars and just being held together like a little bit of a set from a cowboy western here. So we've got all the cargo containers that will be connected up through there. And they'll actually have connector ports on this side. And this side will be hydrogen storage for them long distance flights now as we work our way back across we've got the vented upper section as well as these various ribbon areas and towards the back we've got some more oval parts to add a little bit of detail to the design that's quite important and then we've actually got the cockpit here itself so the cockpit is actually currently connected on a little bit of a beam and me and Tazu were debating between us if we wanted the cockpit here with an access tunnel leading into this area that we're semi working on and then the access tunnel to lead into the central area something that we'll have to decide on in the future and if you guys have got any ideas for this you'll have to let us know in the comments below so we've got that little cockpit sort of tube here and at the back we've got the alternative cockpit we're going to use that the, is the actually the Millennium Falcon one but the problem with that is the glass is no longer see-through, so we decided against that. Still, we've got to build the thruster pack around the back. And when we were starting, uh, the last part we were doing is starting to integrate weapons into the actual thing. So we've got these grenade launching type pods of these individual struts going across. At the current moment in time, it only protects this upper side. But what I really like about this is how it has these ribs that come off the side and break up the shape. And further down here, we've got these venting areas. So you can imagine the cargo can be vented in case you're carrying something that can generate fumes and whatnot. So coming back to the front, we've also got this cool little area that Tazu was working on, creating a little bit of detail. There's nothing worse on a large, small ship than areas that are just completely blank. And up at the top, he's done the same there again, just creating a little bit of detail, something to draw your eye to that particular area. So, like I was saying before, each one of these cargo containers in the end will be a standardized shape and size so that any of our ships in the cargo fleet can transport them around. I'll quickly nip over to this one. But the idea of loading them up at the moment is currently the hardest bit. We're just trying to work out how we can connect and load these up. Are we going to need some sort of gantry crane to plug each one of these into the connectors? Or should we have some vehicle that can hold... Um, maybe 8 or 12 crates at once and then insert them all into the cargo bay at once. Just a few ideas to run by there. Anyway, just a quick video showing you our progress on the container shipping yard on Mars. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.